welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my baby product regrets um, and then things I will also be reusing for this baby. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So I'll start off with my product regrets. I've got a few. Um, I'm going to try and get through them as quickly as possible. I will leave everything in the description box as well um, if you're interested. Um, just refer to that. So first product regret, and I feel like I might regret saying this was a regret, but it's the Ergo um, baby carrier. I think I have the Ergo 360. Um, I'll show you. It is just this one here. It's got like the little pouch thing and I got it in gray. Um, basically, I just found this so, so hard to put on by myself and it was just kind of really bulky and a little bit uncomfortable um, when the baby was like a newborn. Um, so yeah, I did actually have another carrier, like a wrap one, but again, I was like, oh, it's a bit annoying to put on. So I was like, I'll get this one because this one has really, really good reviews. Um, and I'll say like, I didn't really use it as much as I'd like to. Like they're really expensive carriers and I was like, oh yeah, I'll get use out of it. But like by the time I felt comfortable enough putting him in that, he was like seven kilos and it was like a lot of pressure on my lower back. And I just found like I'd prefer to use the pram over the carrier just because it didn't hurt my back basically um so yeah i think i used it until he was maybe like four or five months um maybe a couple of times after that but i reckon i only used it like 10 times in total <laughs> that being said though i feel like i've been listening to a few podcasts and i feel like second time around I will probably be like, I'll kind of have to use the carrier a bit more because I'll need my hands free to run after Lincoln. So yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Um, but for now it was a bit of a regret because I just feel like I really didn't get my money's worth. Um, but I'll keep you posted on that one. <laughs> the second thing I regret buying was button up onesies. Oh my God. Like I am just all about convenience and the button up onesies were just like, just no, I'm not going to use them this time around. I think they're okay when they get like a bit older and they're like maybe seven, eight, nine months. Then I kind of like, I'm happy to use them during the day. Um, but when those first three to four months when you're getting up, like every three hours, you're changing them so often. And in the middle of the night, it's so hard to just like find all the buttons. It's just so much easier to have a zipper. Um, so yeah, I will not be using button onesies this time. The third thing on my list of product regrets um, is the outlet monitor. So don't get me wrong, I love my sock and I'll get to that in my things that I'm reusing part. But the actual baby monitor, like the camera, um, you can see I've got a new one now. I actually ended up buying this one after a few months because the outlet one, I don't know what it is. It just wouldn't load. It would take ages to load, like minutes, like three minutes. And then it would just say like disconnected or something like that. And then I found the background audio just wouldn't work. Like it has an option to play the background audio on your phone overnight. So you don't have to have like your phone open, but it wouldn't work. Like there were so many times where it would start playing at the start of the night and then I'd wake up and then I could hear nothing. And I'd like look at the monitor and Lincoln had been crying like a couple of times overnight and I didn't hear it because my monitor went off. So yeah. Uh, it's it's a bit it's a bit sad because it was gifted to me so I kind of did feel a bit guilty buying another one but like honestly I didn't I needed a new monitor like I couldn't I couldn't keep using that one um so yeah the camera no go but yeah I'll get to the sock in the next part next thing on my list of regrets is buying too many outfits and I'm sure we're all guilty of it. Like as a first time mom, you're so excited. You just want to like buy all the baby things. Um, but I do really regret kind of going overboard um, on like newborn zero to three months and double zero. 
um, because honestly, Lincoln was in a size zero at like five months. So he didn't really get much use out of those first three sizes. And I know I have like a lot, I think in particular zero to three and newborn, I've got oh, quite a lot of outfits that like just didn't really get worn or they literally got worn once. Um, also with that, um, I will say like other outfits that I bought that weren't bonds, onesies or weren't zippies. Like I just felt like I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered trying to put little pants on his little legs. And like, I just, he just lived in zippies and like a jumper on top. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I would avoid putting on the other outfits just cause they're a bit inconvenient. Um, so yeah, definitely a product to regret. I'm definitely not buying anything this time around because I know how quickly they grow out of them in the first six months. Following that with clothes, another one that I regret is a lot of socks and shoes. I personally didn't buy any baby shoes, but I did get gifted a few. Um, and I just, I never put them on him. Like, I was like, what is the point? Like, I honestly... Even now, I don't, like, Lincoln's still not walking. So I'm like, I don't put shoes on him every day. Like, there's just no point because he's not walking. Um, and I think, like, I got gifted some Adidas ones. And I think I put them on for, like, one Instagram photo. But, like, he honestly, he hasn't worn them because he's not walking yet. Um, so, yeah, I just think they're just a total waste. Um, also, with the socks, I found when they're little, they just don't stay on, they fall off and you just lose them. And again, it's just so much easier to just put them in like a bonds onesie or like a zipper onesie that has the socks, like the bits that you can pull over to make the socks. Um, so yeah. <laughs> the next thing is another one that I personally didn't buy, um, but it's kind of just one of those things that I'm like, I should probably throw them out because I don't think I'm going to use them this time around, um, which is a lot of um, muslin wraps or swaddles and um, bibs. For some reason at my baby shower and like people that were giving me baby gifts, I got, I think I got about 12 um, wraps and then I had like 20 bibs. And honestly, I didn't really use the wraps. I think I used them like once in the hospital. And then I used one to go over the pram when they were like sleeping in the pram. But that's it. And then the others are just sitting there. I haven't even really touched them. The bibs as well. I just feel like they're super unnecessary when they're little. Um, and yeah, like I just didn't really need the amount that I have. <laughs> The last one on my regret list um, is buying a single pram. So this one's kind of a difficult one for me, I guess, because yeah, if I could have bought a double pram when I first bought my pram, I would have, but we, our car situation is I have a Suzuki Swift and Ryan has a sedan. So um, I got the Red's Baby Metro because it collapses down with the seat on. You don't have to put the seat separately in the car to the frame. Um, so that's honestly one of the main reasons I got the Red's one because it actually does fit in my Suzuki Swift boot, which is incredible. Um, and I know a lot of the other prams are a lot more bulkier, so they just wouldn't have fit. Um, so yeah, that's the re main reason why I didn't buy a double pram to begin with, but if you have the space, if you can, and I feel like I've got a friend who has two hatches and she can fit her pram in easily. Um, so if you have any car other than the Suzuki Swift, you should be fine. Um, if you're planning to have two kids in the space of two years or less, definitely do your research and get a pram that converts to a double. Um, it just saves you a lot of money down the line. I'm now having to buy another pram um which is a lot of money so yeah <laughs> just just a little piece of advice and kind of something to keep in mind if you're a first time mum and looking at prams rightio on to my products that i will be reusing with baby on number two um the first thing on my list is probably my most used my favorite baby product ever and I've used this every single day since Lincoln was born and he's now 15 months. So it's it's really gotten its money's worth. And that is the Owlet 
Monitor Sock. Um, so basically, I'm sure you've seen them. Ours is really dirty, so don't mind that. Um, they're basically a monitor that you put on their foot at night and it tracks their heart rate and their oxygen levels. Um, and it will alert, I think it's if it goes under 80 beats per minute and the oxygen goes under 80%, I'm not too sure on the exact stats, but we have like the base in our room and it goes off and it like will make a really alarming sound um, if it does go under those levels. Um, so yeah, otherwise we just use the app and we can see, we can check it and we can go back overnight and see all the stats. Um, it has really good sleep data on here as well for when they go into deep sleep. Anyway, I could go on about this forever. It's amazing. They've also now bought, um, brought out bigger sizes. So this is the size two socks. So he had a, the size one when he was a newborn. And this one it says is 4.5.4 to 13.6 kilos. So 12 to 30 pounds. That's pretty big. Like he, Lincoln's probably 11 point something now. So he could still keep wearing this for another few months. Um, but if you do want to keep wearing, like putting them on your kids when they're, you know, past that weight range or like over two or whatever, there is another size you can buy, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, hundred percent definitely will be using this for the next baby. Um, it just gave me so much peace of mind in the early stages i had really bad postnatal um postnatal um anxiety and i just had i had trouble sleeping so i think this really saved me <laughs> and it still is just even when he's sick we use it all the time and it's really reassuring when he's sick to have this on him just to monitor his levels and stuff so yeah Highly, highly recommend. It is pricey, but it's it's definitely worth the investment. The second item that I'm going to be reusing is my bassinet. So I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Again, I'll put it up here or I'll put it in the description box. But it's a Tasman Eco white bassinet um, with wheels. So definitely recommend getting something with wheels. It just makes life like a thousand times easier. Basically, what we did with Lincoln when he was a newborn was... Um, Ryan would stay up in the lounge room and like watch telly or game or whatever. Um, Lincoln would just be asleep in the bassinet out there. And then I'd go to sleep earlier and like get a longer stretch. Ryan was able to like feed him, give him a bottle out there, put him down in the bassinet. And then when he was ready to go to bed, he would just push him back into our room and like push him next to my side of the bed. So when he was next ready for his feed, he was there and like you didn't have to disturb him. I 100% reckon like it's, it's, you need to have wheels. It just makes it so convenient. Um, and then I feel like during the day as well with this baby, I it'd just be easier for like day naps if I want to like wheel them out to the kitchen and have them like next to me or just out of reach of like other kids and pets. Um, so yeah, really recommend that. The next thing on my list of things I'll be reusing is my Docker Tot. Um, or baby lounger. There's a, there's a hundred of them on the market, um, but I found it really good, especially those first three months. Just so you can kind of like if you don't if you don't feel like holding them, um, you can just let them nap in that like on the couch next to you. Or I often had it like on our dining table, and I just like so it was like at eye level. I could see if I was like in the kitchen cooking. Um, and again, it's just really portable to move around the house. I often would take it to the bathroom if I was having a shower and just let them like lie down next to me so I could see them while I was in a shower or on the toilet. Um, it's just like one of those things that's really portable and easy. Oh, also, I remember I used it. I took it to like my grandparents' house and like mum's house or something when they were little so like if I wanted to put them down we could just like put them down in that um like while we were eating a meal or something and that was really convenient rather than bringing like the whole pram into like someone's house um so yeah definitely we'll be reusing that the next one is my breast pump so I have the spectra I think it's s2 double pump um and i did start off with a single pump that my friend gave me it was like a tommy tp electric single pump and that was all right like it did do the job at the start but i just found it 
was really time consuming. I was pumping a lot at the start because I had problems with Lincoln's latch. So yeah, I definitely am glad I, I invested in the Spectra pump. Um, it just makes things so quick and easy. Um, and I was able to kind of pump a couple of times a day and like store milk for when I wanted to go out or when like someone else was minding him. Um, and it didn't feel like I was just like sitting at a pump all day, um, which is the last thing you want to be doing when you're breastfeeding as well. Um, so yeah, love my breast pump. Going along with feeding, um, I will be reusing the Tommy Tippy, I think it's called Closer to Nature Bottles. Um, they were really good. They're like the breast, the teat is like a breast, breast like teat. <laughs> Um, Lincoln, I'm pretty sure they were the only ones that he took to straight away. Eventually he took to some others, but like I had no issues with that. And I had no issues introducing those bottles from pretty much when he was a few days old, um, and still breastfeeding, like didn't have any issues. So we'll definitely be using those again. The next one is Bibs Dummies. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're very popular. These are what they look like. Um, they come in a heap of different colors. Um, and again, they're like a nipple like teat, um, rubber teat. So yeah, I'm really glad Lincoln took to these because I find some of the other ones look a bit tacky. I don't know. I like, I really like the look of these ones, although they are expensive. Um, so yeah, I will buy a few, um, of the, like the, the newborn size. Um, if the baby does take a dummy, um, I'm, I will use a dummy again for the next baby. So yeah. Next on my list is a, uh, baby swing with batteries. So mine's packed away at the moment. Um, but I'll put a photo up of the one I have. It is, I think it's Fisher and Price. Kevin wants to join us. Um, it, I got it gift, I got it given to me from um, my Uma's friend. And it's just so easy. Like it just requires batteries. It plays songs. It has like a little mobile hanging and it swings like back and forth at different speeds. And I just found it so easy. Like it doesn't look the greatest. But I just feel like I can get past that. It like saved us during like witching hour when we were trying to eat dinner. Lincoln really loved it. So I'm hoping that this baby also likes it and I can use it again. Um, but yeah, definitely the batteries I think is like the key thing. Because like again, I could bring it, I could just grab it and take it to the, to the bathroom while I was having a shower and the baby would be happy there. Um, so yeah. Definitely will be trying to use that again if the baby likes it. <laughs> the next thing on my list is a change table. Again, I feel like you either love your change table or you just feel like they're a complete waste of furniture. Um, I know a lot of people opt to just have like a change pad on a chest of drawers. For me, I'm really glad that we got a change table at the start um, when we didn't have it. I was just changing him on the dining room table on a change pad. And the height of the dining room table was just too low and it just really caused me to have really bad back pain um especially straight after giving birth it's just nice to have something at that height um and yeah i really loved it i will be using that again a couple more to go so the next one is a flannelette nappies aka birth burp cloths um i'll show you what i mean so these are the ones that i'm referring to um I use them as burp cloths, but they're called flannelette nappies. Um, these were just from Baby Bunting. They're the four baby brand. Get the flannelette ones. Don't get the terry toweling ones. Um, the terry toweling ones are like a towel material and they go like really hard and scratchy. These ones stay really, really soft. Um, I think they come in a 10 pack, but basically what we do is just like fold it or just have it over our shoulder when we're burping and it covers like your whole body so it just like you're not gonna get any vomit on you rather than using like those skinny burp cloths that are actually designed to be burp cloths like most of the time like 90% of the time the baby misses and they end up on your clothes so yeah especially if you have a spewy baby Linky was a really spewy baby like we went through I think we got gifted two packs of these um so we had 20 we ended up going out and buying another one um 
Oh, no, we might have had 10. Sorry. Yeah, I think we had one pack and then we were like, we're going through like eight of these a day some days because he's just like spewing up so much. We need more of these. So I've got like 30 sitting there in my cupboard. Um, so, yeah, we're really helpful. I also used to fold them in half like this and tuck them underneath the bassinet, like tightly underneath the bassinet mattress. Um, so when they would like spew, you didn't have to take off the whole sheet. You could just replace this, um, which was a lot. So I found that way easier. Um, again, in the pram, we had them in the pram. We have them in the car. Like I have them just sitting up on here on the couch. Like we just had them all over our house. So yeah, definitely. That's probably my most recommended baby product, um, for like newborn babies. Next one on my list is uh, my the my breast breast friend <laughs> the my breast friend um, breastfeeding pillow. Oh my god, the why was that so hard to say? Um, I I don't have it. It's in our room, but again, I'm sure you've seen them. They're a very popular breastfeeding pillow. It's a very firm pillow, and it's got like a clip around the back, so it like you can clip it on and move around or get up, and it stays in place, which I love. I got given another pillow, I can't remember the brand, um, and it just, I used it for the first, like, first week or so, and I was like, this is crap, like, I can't feed properly, especially because, like, I'm not, like, I'm not a small person, I'm a curvier person, um, and I've got big boobs, so I found the soft one that didn't have the clip, it would just fall off, and it would, like, fall down, and I'd be constantly, like, having to pick it up. Um, whereas like the breast friend one is really firm and it like keeps the baby in place and it doesn't like you don't have to do the work like it just literally is like a surfboard and the baby sits on and is at like perfect height and like it's not straining at all on your shoulders I don't know loved it I ended up getting mine off marketplace for like $30 and like they have the washable covers I just washed the cover and sanitized it and it was good to go and it was like probably the best $30 I spent in those first few months <laughs> the last item on my list of things that i'm going to be reusing is a baby bath um again it's pretty simple it's one of those white baths um that you can use inside a bath or on a bench um personally i was recovering from giving birth um and i had a really bad tear so i was in a lot of pain and it was hard for me to like sit down or bend over um so i found having the baby bath we have a big laundry bench so we just fill it up in the laundry and sit it on the bench and then it was at a really good height where we didn't have to like lean over or anything and we felt like we had control of the baby um it would just made life a lot easier so yeah i'm going to be using that again this time around <laughs> that's it for my product regrets and things that I will be reusing for the next baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. Say bye, Kirby. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>